Hello everyone, welcome to another Let's Play. Now this, this is going to be a little bit different. I don't know why I'm saying that, I have very few Let's Plays, which are different. So, all of them that I do, as of, as of this moment, is technically always going to be different in one way or another. So, but this is something else. No, it's not. It's the same thing as before. Uh, not the same thing as before. It's like, it's Minecraft. Welcome to Let's Play Minecraft. Yeah. Welcome to Let's Play Minecraft. Okay. Um, now, what is going on? Because, as you can see, there's already a house here. I have a house here. It's a house. There's chess. There is a bunch of raid banners over here in a line because that's how many times in this world I have fought. This is the kill yourself screen. The kill yourself region. Come here, make an offering, set yourself ablaze, and then leave the world. That's how you leave. Bunch of dogs. An entire cherry biome, which was not here before because I went and found a bunch of cherry trees and planted it here. Uh huh. Um, let's just take you on a tour. Oak tree farm. Not really a farm, it's just a bunch of oak trees. Uh, we have a regular farm with a massive silo. It's not massive, it's pretty small, really. It's not really meant. It's an aesthetic thing. And I'll go more into this aesthetic thing later. Because that is the idea of the video. But, anyways, you have the silo here. A nice little silo. You have a fairly decent sized farm a fair sized farm for wheat over here and then it expands out to carrots and I'm not too sure what's going on I'm quite sure that I have potatoes as well not yet I don't think I've planted potatoes yet have I I don't think I've planted the potatoes yet but anyways carrots wheat uh, I'm walking this way because there's a creeper there and I don't really want to deal with that right now cow you can tell that there is no animal farm because I have not read the book yet. Ha! Book pun. Book book joke. No, no, no one. Yeah, just as much. Anyways, um, there is a mine shaft which I completely forgot. It's on the way to said farm. So let's just go to the farm first. Go in the direction of the farm. There is a mine. Small mine. Just like this. Just down there. It's just a stairwell mine made up made it yep and then you have um uh, okay going this way okay so the farm is back there remember this now remember the main things i tell you the farm is back there a bunch of trees we have the um, birch forest here the mangrove plantation just beyond it you have a house which i made a while ago to do off um, idle fishing. Yep, yeah, you see, just to do some idle fishing. Um, sugarcane plantation, obviously, because who doesn't like good old fashioned sugarcane? The original sacrificial flame that I made. Mangrove, mangrove, mangrove. Keep running, keep running, keep running. Aha. Uh -huh. Uh, this is just some naturally spawning biome, nothing here, a cave down here, oh god, server's about to be restarted, well uh, that's not good, uh, like cities and all that, I'm not interested in making that, I'm making something in the past, we are going to create this world, over time. And this, as I called it, will be the center of it all. This house. The first house. I'm just gonna eat a bit so I can run a bit more, because that's what I'm doing right now. Cool. This is the first house. Um, a friend and I had this world before, but they will not be on this world for a long time to come. Probably. So, I'm taking full custody of it. So this 
is the Chalet de Villeurs Rouge. I don't really know if I said it. I, I think it's like Chalet de Villeurs Rouge, but I can't really pronounce that properly. It's a modest house. Nothing extremely grand. It's not a base either. It is just a nice little home. Very nicely built. And in homage to that friend who built this entire house, this is going to be the center. This house will exist. This entire plains, this village that you see there, all of this will be all solely for this one house here. We will, the first step that we have is just to update this entire place. I will be chopping down all of these cherry trees, all of the birch trees. I will chop down all the mangrove trees and I will destroy my idol fishing farm. Then we will turn this place into a nice little hole with this as its main. The farm over there will be the farm for this little house and this will be the rulers of the world. They shall live here. Once I cut all this down and everything. And then we will have a, flesh, a fresh slate to cr bend this world as we wish. Following the terraforming of this entire world, of this part of the world, we will begin our journey. We shall go to different biomes, and once I find the good biomes to work with, we shall begin work. We shall build. We shall build up and create magnificent kingdoms. I will be following along, of course. What do I mean by following along? Well, I mean that I will be watching a whole lot of building tutorials, because trust me, I cannot build something like this. No, 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 I can't build anything like this with my own mind. Not a chance. I will be watching a whole lot of videos to make a whole lot of different structures throughout the world. Yeah, all of this will go. Every single thing here is going to vanish. Because we are going to start clean. Just the house and that farm. So that's what we're working with. The, this, the entire area that we're working with is from that village, which I will leave in peace as homage. Because we, I, um, we, me and my, my friend and I were met, <laughs> never did actually end up going to that village to trade with any of the villages. But it's always just nice to be there. I will leave that in peace. From the house to the end over there where you could see the fishing place, all the way to the farm over there over there. That is the land I'll be working with as a start. If you guys have ideas on how I should make it, be my guest to tell me. I will be moving the nether portal, of course. I think I want to put it underground. I'm Like this house, I'm gonna put it maybe underground or in the attic or something. I intend to move the nether portal, basically. I will be moving it. That's the. So step one is to clear out this place. Put it all away. All of this has to go away. We're going to place it over there, over there. We're just going to scatter them. We're going to remove them, put them into chests that I will label. And we'll work from there. The only things I won't be getting rid of is the massive farm over there because I already made that silo. Big mistake because it's a, I don't know why. The farm is on the coast. So yeah. Yeah, we'll... We'll think of the actual logistics of all this. First, let's just clear the place up, break everything, and then we can see what land we're working with. But yeah, that's the goal of this brand new series. Okay, let's start with right in front of us here, the birch forest. Let's clear it out. Okay, that pretty much took two full Minecraft days, but... As you can see, this is the land, now that all of the birch trees have been chopped down. Um, the leaves are still in the process of despawning, and there's still items being dropped. But as you can see here, we have all of this building material now. I have no idea if I will be using any birch in my builds. Probably, because it's quite an abundant amount of wood right here. But I'll see what the tutorials say and how I think the aesthetic is and everything. But all this now is going to go away. 
into a chest, which I will label birch. I think there's already a chest labeled birch, if I'm not mistaken. Birch stuff. Which is going to drop all the birch stuff in here. All birch stuff is now gone. Next up, we are going to get rid of the mangrove and basically this entire section here. The mangrove, the sugarcane plantation, all of this, gone. The little idle... This little guy here, this little hut that I made for fishing, gone. It's all going away. All of it. So, we have moving on everyone from leaving all that behind because I can't be asked to cut it anymore. We're gonna do this. So everyone, please take a mental image. This is what it looks like right now. All the cherry blossoms, all pink and everything. Yay! And, yep, now we're gonna cut it all down. I pretty much finished all of this, as you can see. Chop down everything. This is what it looks like now. Just a few remaining stragglers of cherry blossoms. And then I see these pieces of trash just standing here like a bunch of losers. And I know exactly how this is going to go, so I'm just going to do it first. One down. Two to go. I'm sure why they're standing all the way over there, so I'm going to just go around them. They can't exactly hit me through blocks, can they now? So welcome, as we get rid of a bunch of illagers who are just standing here like a bunch of numpties. Of course, this means I will not be able to... Of course, it means I can't go into the village anymore. Not like I'm going to be going there until I finish chopping all of that and the mangroves down still, which still stand, even though it was a tree I was meant to cut down before the cherry blossoms, but I gave up because they are so hard to get rid of completely. So I decided to just do the cherry blossoms first because they'd be easier. So yeah, I now have Bad Omen for, how was it, 90, 90 something? A minute? 90 minutes? Yeah, 90 minutes. Well, 100 minutes. 100 minutes of bad omen. That's fine by me, because I still have to do with all that. Yep, they still stand. All of them still stand. So yeah. I'll see you guys when I'm done with it. Okay, there we go, finally. The mangroves are done. As you can see, the entire shoreline is now available to us to use as our, at our discretion. All that's left on this side of the world is that. This thing here. This house that I made so long ago. Time to go, buddy. You've served me well, but it's time to say goodbye. That is my little cherry boat. Yep. Okay, next up is the house that will conclude this, and before we end the video, we will make our way over to Oak Forest and absolutely annihilate it. That's for the next video. Figure out which one to start, what to start with. I probably will start with the farm, because <laughs> it's just the easiest to expand. I just need to expand, I don't really need to do anything special with it. Just need to expand it out. It's quite, it, it should be easy. Potatoes, wheat, I have never been able to find beetroot yet, so that's unfortunate. I won't be able to start beetroot farm or anything. But you know, everything else will, everything else goes. Like, look, two potatoes. You can do a lot with two potatoes, you know. I don't know what exactly you can do with two potatoes, but you can start a potato farm, and that's something. Yeah, I have nothing, guys. I have no idea. <sighs> all for future. All for the future me to worry about. What exactly are we doing with all the stuff that we have? Okay, next up on the list. Next up on the list is to get rid of Everything else. Just get rid of the whole thing. Okay, let's just drop... I don't really know where everything goes. Okay, cherry stuff is done, mangrove stuff is done, next up is oak stuff. Shoot, I forgot about that part.
Okay, there we go. Oh, stuff. Oof. There you go. Put birch stuff back. That's all birch. Birch stuff. Yeah, no one really organized this, so just dump everything else in here. Put the iron pick there, note block there, that there, hopper there, string there, that, 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 that. Actually, no, I know where the egg goes. That can go there, that can go there, that can go there. Dirt. I may need dirt, actually. Uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, food. Dump the egg there. That's really what am I... But what about the, um... What about the seeds? Well, lo and behold, there is a... You'll see. You'll see what. You'll see why I'm not doing anything with the seeds right now. I'm taking the bed with me. Taking this bed with me. Gonna take it over there. I'm I'm still recording right now. Purely because I'm not starting with this yet. But yeah, everyone take a good long look at this. This, this is the oak farm that I have constructed. There's the silo. And in here, I believe, unless I got rid of it, like a dumb person would, I don't think I did though. You have right around the corner here, you have a chest called farm. Why is it called farm? Because this is where I put all the seeds that I don't need and I don't know what all this is doing here. I had so many pickaxes. Damn, what the f... How do I have so many pickaxes? Anyways, doesn't matter. Yeah, you see, look at the farm like this. It's gonna expand this way now. Once I sort this out. This is like... Uh, I, I started something, like a mini path to the mine. This is gonna be like... I'm gonna like board it up. Say like danger. Danger, like... So then no one comes into the mine. You know, it's a whole thing. Yep, yeah, okay. I'll see you guys when I'm done tearing down all of this. Well. That's it. That's it. I got rid of all my trees. Now, you must be wondering why, but there's still six trees left. That kind of right, right? Yeah, six trees left. Why are they still there? Well, that's because this six trees were basically the first ones here. Unlike all of the other tree farms, the cherry blossoms, I traveled quite far away a while. I don't remember how long ago, I think. As of the time of recording, it was like a few couple of months ago. I traveled and I got the cherry blossoms. I brought them back here because I said I don't want to keep going that far. But... They're actually over in the distance over there. Um, the birches came from another forest, and we planted them in front of the house so we could have birch wood. Um, and then we have the mangroves, which I forgot it was like maybe a year ago now, maybe perhaps around that timeline. A year ago, we when the world first started, we found some and we just brought the saplings there. However, oak existed here in this place, and I just planted more oaks. So this was the original outlay of it, if you don't pay attention to the piece of dirt, the floating dirt and leaf blocks. If you don't pay attention to any of that, this is how the original place looked. And this is where I will be concluding our... This is where we will be concluding um, what's it called? The video. I hope you guys enjoyed. That's us done. We have officially cleared out everything that needs to be cleared out. Um, I don't know what I'll start with next. But for the record, that over there is the end of the location. And the house is the marks the other end. Or the center of the end. I don't, it's something. Anyways, but yeah. I hope you guys look forward to this. It's going to be a long... It's probably going to be as long as that weird... Road to Bronze Valorant thing I have going on, which will take like a couple of years maybe to get to Bronze. I don't really know. I'm garbage at shooter games. Minecraft building, oof. It just generally takes a long time, anyways. Especially the plan I have. But you can see what we're working with now. What land, how open the open landscape like this. The dock, the beach over there. This is what we're working with. Hope you guys look forward to seeing. How we transform it. And also this nether portal won't be here anymore. When you guys come back for the next video. In fact, I'll show you guys where the original nether portal was. Because this is not it. This is not the actual nether portal. This was a spawn in. I don't know why it spawned in. It was a glitch or something. I'll show you guys in the next video what exactly I mean by that. Otherwise, that's all. Peace out. Take care.